What is up, I'm Sergeant Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thank you for checking out this video. Today is a pretty exciting day because it marks the kickoff of my Ryzen 7 coverage. That is right. We're going to be doing a lot of videos on these CPUs, the uh, Ryzen 5s once they come out. But for now, we have this. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing of what I got in my reviewer's kit. I know uh, some of you have probably already seen the show me what you got where I unboxed the box that this came in and I kind of teased you guys, but um, I really, really want to talk about Ryzen specifically for a little while and uh, discuss what you guys kind of want to see in terms of uh, coverage. So without much further ado, let's unbox the reviewer's kit and talk a little bit more. So this is pretty dope. We now have a 1700X. We also have a 1700. And then we also have the uh, Gaming 5X 370 from uh, Aorus, AKA Gigabyte. So uh, that's really, really exciting. I had, as I mentioned, I had been having a hard time getting my hands on a motherboard, but now we have one to do some testing. And that's the first thing I guess is what will I be testing? There's already been a lot of coverage in terms of uh, gaming and some of the basic kind of multi-thread, you know, testing in terms of productivity, but I have some really specific things I want to test. And a lot of that is going to be revolving around not only gaming, but also content production. Since I'm a YouTuber, I want to test how this is going to work in my production workflow in terms of creating um, content and also streaming. It's come, we're kind of getting to that point where everybody's a content creator and everybody's a streamer. So uh, gamers who are gaming want to be able to record their fun moments, make montages or pursue a career in, you know, like YouTube and be, uh, you know, the next big PewDiePie or, or Level Cap or Rival X Factor or any of those guys. Um, and then everybody's kind of also a streamer these days, whether or not you want to be, you know, the huge next, the next huge guy, um, like Darkness, again, Rival X Factor, Matimio, all those guys, and there are people even bigger than him, or you just want to like hop online and in the stream and, you know, have, you know, fun moments with your chat, be it five people or whatever. But the point is these uh, chips, these AMD uh, Ryzen 7 chips should provide a, a really, really good experience in terms of that. So I want to do some testings with different software, see what software uh, kind of plays best with these. We're still very, very early um, in the lifespan of this platform. It should be around for, you know, hopefully like four or five years, maybe with some refreshes and stuff along the way. But as it matures, hopefully we'll see more and more software be able to utilize these crazy awesome cores. You've got eight cores, 16 threads, and not a lot of software is able to fully take care of that. So if you are working with multiple software packages, there's just a lot of stuff to test. And I want to know what you guys want to see me test with this. Are there specific applications? Are there specific games? Are there specific workloads? Um, let me know in the comments below. I can't test everything obviously, but I will try to, you know, grab all your, your recommendations and um, come up with a, a, a testing scheme in order to uh, really, really, you know, just document and, and help out the people considering trying to figure out what they want to buy. I will hopefully be getting an 1800X down the road. And then once uh, Ryzen 5 comes out, I'll be doing some testing on that as well. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited for this. So beyond the testing, I'm also going to be doing some specific builds. I do have that other motherboard coming and it is a different motherboard. It is the uh, Asus Prime X370. So I think that's a slightly different price point, maybe $25 or so cheaper than this one. So I will be doing two different builds, probably two different themes, two different cases, and two different, slightly different price points. Obviously, you've got $329 and $399, so that's a $7 difference, and I'll try to scale the rest of the components along with that. It's going to be interesting because I kind of want to do at least one all AMD build with this, and then maybe a mixed build where I uh, include... Um, an appropriate level NVIDIA uh, GPU. So let me know what you guys want to see with that. I need to pick out some RAM. There are some um, known kind of compatibility and speed issues with uh, RAM, but as you know, the, the platform matures, we'll see uh, probably more and more compatibility and less, less problems. I know the uh, motherboard manufacturers are probably going crazy with BIOS updates right now, trying to, uh, you know, just really, really get everything to a nice solid place. 
There are also some issues with uh, the temperature reporting of these. I think AMD has come out with a, an official press release saying that there's a uh, like 20 degree delta between um, what these chips are reporting and stuff like hardware manager and even their own um, hardware monitor and even their own software. So people are still saying that you know these things are running at 90 when they're real, really running at 70. So I'll try to keep that in mind, try to let you guys know what my findings are for that. Um, I've got a couple different coolers that I showed off in the show you what I got, <laughs> show me what you got video. So um, I can do some testing with those. Also open if you guys have any suggestions for other coolers. Kind of want to use, I have a Hyper 12 um, what is the Evo Hyper 12 from um, Cooler Master kind of sitting in the closet so I can do some testing on air and I can do some testing on um, an all-in-one uh, 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 all in one uh, CPU cooler. Kind of want to play with some, you know, fully custom water-cooled stuff. So if you guys have any recommendations on that, let me know. So really, really excited to be testing out Ryzen. I uh, really want you guys' feedback. Really want this to be a two-way street. If there's stuff that you guys have questions about that other reviewers might not be um, answering, please let me know. I also have, uh, you know, I can talk to some of the people at AMD in terms of their technical marketing. So if you guys have questions that you're not able to get um, answered, let me know as well. And I will try to pass those along and then spew them back out to you in the form of videos. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you're excited about seeing the rising coverage, please give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, but try to leave me some feedback. Subscribe to the channel to see those awesome videos coming up. I've got links to my Amazon affiliate in the description. Uh, you know, use that and then uh, when you shop on Amazon, it'll help out the channel. I've also got links to my uh, all my social media platforms. I just fold my arms here. I don't know why. I'm so strong. I don't need muscles. Um, but yeah, uh, check out my social medias in the description below and you can get some more behind the scenes, you know, uh, pictures and up close pictures of these guys, some more extra B-roll and all that kind of stuff. Also, just what I'm doing in life, if any of you guys actually care about that. Watching Formula One this weekend. Go Team LH. But uh, yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.